It is a perfect Sunday afternoon, and in the Steel City, those are reserved for one thing, football, as our coverage of the NFL brings us to Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Patriots coming out now. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man is Myers. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Jacoby Myers really came into his own as New England's de facto number one wide receiver last season. He led the Pats in catches and yardage and really showed what he can do as a top target and a safety net for his young quarterback. Here's Jones. Throwing on first down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. When you're running the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. A first carry here for Tom Montgomery. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now Jones on third down. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. That one goes for 24 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Harris is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second down and goal. Trubisky forced out to his left. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Mitchell Trubisky, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0.
well now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded right around the eight. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Second and 10 now from the 27. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's caught left side, Myers with it. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jones now to throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Jake Bailey now. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. This is taken at the 18. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Harris starts the drive on the ground, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Trubisky to throw. He rifles one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. They run with Harris. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to get this down near the 25. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Jones from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. to kick this one off. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Play action. It's Trubisky. Claypool with another catch. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Pretty shifty footwork, but didn't buy him much. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down, and they go back to Harris. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Trubisky. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 14 yards that time for number 14. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. 
Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Get now Trubisky lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Jones. And his throw is incomplete. And I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off play action. Jones. And right side hitter's got it. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here's Jones on third down. Going deep for Montgomery. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. On oh, the return is Olszewski. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers at their own 22. Now Trubisky. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 39, Trubisky. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he's going to have it first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Now Trubisky on first down. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky flushed out right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Turned back across his body. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. A great move by Montgomery. Well, it's after that time by Akella Witherspoon. 
Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I thought me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw. Jones. It's complete to Parker left side. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers at their own 21. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing here, Trubisky. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. And yeah, he's up in it after a gain of four, up to the 25-yard line. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Trubisky. Fighting Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Again, it's Trubisky. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. Well, they got a takeaway on the last drive with an interception. How about this sack as a terrific follow-up? And that keeps pressure on this offense, and it could force them into more rush decisions or another turnover. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Trubisky will throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And they're going to get this up to midfield. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. New England's offense set to go. 
The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On the draw, it's Harris. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing Jones. Completes it to Aguilar. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now Harris dancing away at the 35, and he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the 29, Jones complete. Hunter Henry with the ground. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Now Jones. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Jacoby Myers, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there, tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose.
now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is where close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. On second down, Trubisky. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six, and it brings up third and five now. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here's Trubisky to throw. Again, it's Johnson. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first down, Trubisky. Open man downfield is Johnson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. 23 yards on the play. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Second and eight coming up. Now it's Trubisky. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Now Trubisky to throw. Throw there, going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. 
And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Jones. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And all it'll be intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Trubisky. Throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. It's brought in by Harris. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw again on second down, Trubisky. Open man here is Gentry. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. 
Well, he certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On the delay, here's Harris. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And he's going to be taken down, back around the 35-yard line. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you get most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Three-point halftime lead, gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Jones throw pulled in by Aguilar. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. They'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Jones from the gun on third down. And he wisely will throw that one away. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers, just shy of the 30. Now it's Trubisky. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. 
But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. A move to New England from Baltimore suited Matthew Judon nicely with 12 and a half sacks in his first year of a new four-year contract with the Patriots. That was a new career high for him, seventh in the NFL and the most for a Patriot since 2015. On third down, Trubisky. He's got his tight end Fryermuth over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain of 22. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Play action. It's Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Trubisky will throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Won't be easy here after that sack. Now you got Trubisky and the Steelers facing a third and long. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that will be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing Jones. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Throw's going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. This is Harris on the draw. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. 
Back to throw. Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City at Pittsburgh, PA. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and six. Now Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Pickens on the slam. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. That swung out wide to Harris. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. But still a first down on the pickup of 11 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing here, Trubisky. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. They go play action. Trubisky finding Harris over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Quick completion here to Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. On first down, Trubisky. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now it's Trubisky. Completion here to Claypool. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. On second down, this is Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Boswell for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. one fielded at the five and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. New England trying to get a place on offense. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start on the ground with Harris. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Harris. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Trubisky now down around his goal line, escaping the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. 
Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Throwing again on second down, Trubisky. And this is going to be caught along the sideline. Nicely done, but right at the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. They were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And they'll get him down up past the 15. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Trubisky's... And he lost the football! And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about for, in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. On the give, this is Harris. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run again with Harris, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. On the ground, it's Harris. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. This is Harris. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. So now Jones and the Patriots trailing 17-10. A minute four on the clock. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Jones. Gets this to Myers, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. 
And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Here's Jones. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Jones. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. This one came right down to the wire, and CD they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it down to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. 